Today video is going to be super exciting. We're going to be looking at two ETFs that will make you rich. Sounds pretty easy, huh? It actually is. Let's dive in. Hello everyone, Alex is here. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're gonna really enjoy this video and it's an eye-opener. Well, at least it was for me when I was just starting out with investments and I'm actually shocked every time I come back and touch on this topic. First thing first, a couple questions for you. Super easy. Do you want to build your portfolio, your investment portfolio to $1 million dollars, but you have no idea where to start? Or do you like an idea of being wealthy and not having to worry about money? That's pretty cool. And the final one, do you want to become financially independent, not to work if you don't want to work and only do things that you actually like doing and enjoy the life or say retire early? If any of these questions actually pops up in your mind time to time, then this video is gonna answer all of them. As I said in the beginning, we're gonna be taking a look at two ETFs that's gonna explode your portfolio and will make you rich. And what is an ETF? You can think of it as a bag of assorted cookies that powered with rocket fuel that will take your portfolio to the moon. That is actually the definition of ETF. It's not something I came up with. And if you wanna go to the moon with me, then smash the like and let's go. And the first ETF on today's list of two ETFs is gonna be super exciting one. I actually never talked about it before, but this is crazy one. So the ticker symbol is QQC-F.TO. This one is on TSX, it tracks NASDAQ 100 index, and it's also a replica of the US brother, which is a QQQ. So this ETF is crazy one, it gives you a ton of returns back. Just look at this, over the last year it gave you 30% return, over the last five years it averaged out at 27.7% annual returns, and over the last 10 years, it averaged out at 22.53% on average per year. Where else you can get a 20% return on your investments, of course, maybe besides crypto, and be super safe about it. So this CTF gives you that. This CTF holds around 104 different stocks. That's understandable because it tracks NASDAQ 100 index, which also has around 100 different stocks in it. And it's very heavy on technology, around 50% of its portfolio is actually invested in the technology sector. And that's understandable because it tracks the best 100 stocks from NASDAQ. You can see companies there like Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Nvidia, Tesla, and all that. And these are the super safe companies. These are trillion dollar companies of market cap. So it's pretty safe to invest in them. They can provide a lot of growth, even more going forward. And because you're investing into the CTF, then all your investments actually spread out between the, all these different stocks. That's why ETFs are very safe. You are not investing into specific stock, you actually diversify it from get-go. Another good point about the CTF is actually its fee. It's around 0.20%. So this is actually pretty low for this ETF, for such returns the CTF provides. And I like it. So what is actually MER and fee and how it's calculated? So you can think of it as for every $1,000 investments, you're gonna be paying around $2 fee, which is super small because if you compare this, for example, to an average fee for a mutual fund, that one is at around 2.3%. Yeah, that's crazy. So this one is 0.20%. And you don't pay this fee the transaction, it's actually added to the ETF price so you don't see, it, which is pretty cool as you don't see it at all. The next one on today's list, the final one for today, is my favorite one, is VFV.to. So this one actually tracks S&P 500 index. So the best 500 companies on US stock market. This is pretty safe. This index been around 400 years. And you would never lose money with this ETF if you invested even 100 years ago, right? It always growing on the long term. And if you take a look only at the last 20, 10, five years, it's even better. Over last year, it produced around 30% return. So it's very similar to a QQC ETF and it's very safe at the same time as well. The MER for this ETF is actually even lower. It's at 0.08%. This is actually one of the lowest MER of entire fleet of ETFs on TSX, which is great, it gives you a ton of returns back and it's super safe. And now finally, what's the deal here? How these two ETFs actually can make you rich? Let's actually take a look at this calculator and see, imitate our investments 
into the future. So say you're starting out when you're 18, or it's the best scenario when you're a teen, just start investing. If you're 17 or 16, wait for a couple of years and start. Or ask your parents to start investing for you. It's gonna be the best decision for future you. And say you start now with a thousand dollars. You get a gift from your parents, from your friends, for your birthday, for your teen year birthday, and you have thousand dollars to invest. So don't spend it, put it all in into your investment portfolio, invest into one of these two ETFs. Now, we need to be consistent with our contributions and let's imagine, it's very high number I know, let's imagine we're gonna be contributing $1,000 every single month for the next 20 years. And I know it's a huge amount of money to invest every single month, but you gotta figure it out where to get it. Side hustle or lower your expenses, but figure this out, get this $1,000 and invest every single month. This is very important. So if you invest that for the next 20 years with an average rate of return around 19%, I actually lowered it down from 22 to 19. And that what actually gives you from BFE or QQC for the last 10 years. And you invest this for 20 years, right? Then the end result, so by the time you're 38, you're gonna get around $3.1 million in your portfolio. How crazy that is. You're pretty much gonna be set for the rest of your life by 38. And retiring at 38, this is not even close to a normal regular retirement age of 65 or 60, right? This is crazy. You would think that, okay, I missed that 18 year old mark, so I just missed the boat. What do I do? This is not for me. What should I do? And you shouldn't worry about that. If you're 30, 40, 60, whatever is your age, start now and in 20 years, you're gonna be set. If you start when you're 40 and you're gonna be investing $1,000 for the next 20 years with a rate of return of 19%, you're gonna end up with $3.1 million by the time you get 60. So by the time you need to retire, you're gonna be set and no one else within your age bracket is gonna have that amount of money because you figured it out how to invest $1,000 every single month. So that is a very important point about all of this. Figure that out. Even if you can do half of it, that's still gonna be a lot of money. And you don't necessarily need to start with $1,000 every single month. Start with whatever you have and slowly add up more. Start a business, side hustle, lower your expenses, figure this out, how to invest as much as possible every single month. And that will eventually pay off and you're going to be set. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe. All the best out there. Cheers. Bye.